Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And we all know what this is, the trim wheel from our airplanes. And it just sits in the center console. We roll it to either go down or bring our trim back. But this is the trim wheel. Now, in Galveston at the uh, convention in 94, they had these on key rings. And these were the key ring for the trees for the convention vehicle. So you couldn't just forget you had one of these in your pocket. But anyway, here it is. It's got a little spiral on the back for driving the indicator which shows you your pointer we'll get to that in a minute but the big thing is is that there's a bolt that goes through here it's an a and three bolt it has a steel nut on the back side where it comes through the shaft and there's a cotter pin for keeping it in place if the bolt is loose in this direction and not tight then this gear is going to wear as well as the pinion gear and this is looking down the center console out of the airplane to the fuel gauges but what we want to talk today about is the trim wheel and the trim wheel has a pinion wheel let me flip it over here's the trim wheel and on the back side as you can see as i spin it that wants to rotate but now stand by and let's go over here and look at the pinion and if i rotate the, if I rotate the cable, it all connects together. But what makes the pinion gear hard to change is right up in here. Pinion gear. If you can see it in there, turn it against that wheel. Oh, up at the top. Here's how the pinion and all melts together. And we do have the manuals for the airplane, and here's the picture right out of it, so enjoy it. Now let's talk about the pinion gear. There's the pinion gear, and as you can see, the pinion gear is there. The shaft has a cotter pin that holds it in place. The pinion gear sits just like that, goes round and round. The bolt I was talking about holds this on the shaft and holds those gears in mesh. So you can see this back gear is wanting to turn as I move this. So keeping this bolt tight, you know, with a cotter pin, it can never get loose, but if it was put in wrong. So there's your trim wheel. There's the pinion gear. And you can't really take it out unless you drill all this apart and bend it to get that out. So this is all the pinion assembly. And then finally, the last piece of the whole puzzle that we all know is the indicator for the gear. And it rides in the airplane like that and shows forward or back well there is your pinion gear i mean your trim wheel adjuster indicator that goes in the center console and that's the little slide it's all put together so this is a complete set for a trim wheel the pinion gear the trim wheel and the indicator if yours is not working so we just want to show everybody all the pieces the big things are keep the pinion gear and this part of the gear clean every year when you Open up the console, make sure there's no debris clogging that up, making it click and wear, and it'll be good forever keeping that bolt tight and uh, not a problem. So this is how the trim assembly works on our airplanes. Again, I wish there was a way I could get the light in there. Wait a minute, let's see if I can work it in there. But you can see the pinions made at their degree and the bolt holds all that together. So that's the assembly. So folks, we hope you found all this useful and informative. By the way, the trim wheel number, there it is, 601-007-501. I'm sorry, that was 607. And by the way, the indicator is a 607-011-501. And I'm going to have to look up the pinion number when I publish this. But these are all the bits and pieces for keeping your trim nice and easy to move. And it should roll right by hand should not be a problem if it's hard lubricate the back make sure the front is clean and bob will be your uncle so folks again we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks for watching and have a great day flying your grumman way ladies and gentlemen this is our alternator door video which is fact is it's our shortest video at two seconds of just video time And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.
stop. 